Hi, this is Derek Jordan. Welcome to the World Fusion Show, where we bring you the leading innovators in world fusion music. Today, we are doing another in our series of on-location shows shot in Senegal with our fantastic guest host, Tony Vaca. Today, he is interviewing a World Fusion trio, Cissé Labonga, and Cissé Labonga is made up of Glauco Cataldo, who is a guitarist and vocalist, and Tarang Sisoka, who is a chora player and vocalist. They, there are th he was only able to interview two of them, but their third member, Fabio Meyer, who's a percussionist and vocalist, is included on the video. So let's join Tony and Cissé Labanga in Senegal and it starts with them playing together. show. We are here in Senegal, West Africa. My name is Tony Vaca. This is Glaco Cataldo and this is Taranga Sisoso, Sisoko and the group is called Sise La Bonga. Now if that isn't enough of a mouthful, the music itself is just amazing. And you can see for yourself, you don't every day see the mixture of guitar and West African chora. But that would be special in itself. But these guys have a whole story to tell, so let's get started. There's things to talk about. So first, how did you guys meet? Oh man, this is Labonga. Uh, we met in 2015 in Madagascar, believe it or not. So from it's Senegal, Italy. Italy, Switzerland. We meet in um, Madagascar with a uh, then active collective. Uh, which was, which is called, it's still called Forest Jam, but it's not as active anymore. Mm -hmm. the, the idea was pretty much just to get uh, young, you know, European cats to play in exchange with uh, traditional African musicians. So that's how I was introduced to African music in general. And that's where I met Taran, who was already traveling with our percussionist, Fabio Mayer, who will come in a couple of weeks. So, with a name like Sissoko, I know it means Casamance, Senegal, and I know it means music, and it probably means Kora. So please, tell us your story. Yeah, Sissoko, he's a big Giryo. i from family Giryo. My mom is Sissoko, my father is Sissoko, my big father is king of Kora. His grandfather. My grandfather. Ooh. Yeah, he's king of the Kora. Me, I'm never learning Kora because he's coming like this. Me, all, all my brother, he's playing Kora. Yeah. 21 of them, buddy. Wow. So to say you come from a line of Kora players, that's, that's an exaggeration down. This is, it's in your blood, it's in your life. It, it's here. It's uh, Sunjulu Sissoko. Um, and he was one of the very first big Kora players who, you know, introduced the instrument actually to us Westerners too. From what I was told, he went with uh, the president at the time, Philip Senghor, to London, 1970, brought along his Kora, and that's when many of us Westerners, or Tubas, mm. saw the Kora for the very first time. Wow. So you guys have created a repertoire together. Yeah. Uh, tell me about that, because, I mean, this sounds like the way you play tells me you don't have two or three songs, you've got a lot. Yeah, we have a couple, and uh, I think what what distinguishes maybe our sound or our approach from other world music projects is that we really, we live together, you know? We play together, we write the songs together. Mm. I'm staying here in Senegal for three months, and we share, we share a room, we share a bed. You know, we get up in the morning, we eat together, we rehearse together, we write together. 
And so it's really a joint affair like that. It's not a black guy with, with, uh, with white side musicians playing his traditionals. And it's not the other way around, like a Paul Simon thingy, maybe, right. I don't know. It's really, we're trying to develop this really together. We write the songs together. So we have, yeah, we have a couple of songs. We released our first album last year, did our first tour, and now we're just, you know, developing. Sounds like you're practicing the Nyokobok principle. Oh yeah. We we're share it. Definitely Nyokobok. Mm -hmm. Exactly. So what's your vision here? You got your instrument, you got a repertoire. Where do you want to take this? Where do you want to go? On veut aller où avec ça? Avec ça. Avec ce projet. Partout dans le monde. All over the world. <laughs> of course, exactly. <laughs> world music, see the world. Nice. And inshallah. Is the, is the group the two of you or sometimes more? So I, as I mentioned before, we are actually a three-piece. Right. Our percussionist, Fabio Meyer, he is Swiss. Right. And I've known Fabio for 10 years or maybe longer. Right. Uh, he will come. Uh, bless you. He will come in uh, about 10 days or so. He, um, they met first, first uh, Fabio and Tarang met because Fabio wanted to get into the djembe. See? Right. So that's also a very, uh, uh, one of his primary instruments maybe is the djembe. So he learned the djembe, then he went to Madagascar, and then we met, mm. formed this trio called Sisalbanga. So we're three at a time, but we like to tour with a bass player if we have room for a drum set, Fabio will play drums. If it's a bit smaller, a bit more intimate, he'll bust out the calabash, me, acoustic guitar, or electric, depends. So like an expandable trio. Yeah, it's like a okay. pseudo trio. And what about the name? Tell us about the name. Cicela Bonga. Cicela Bonga. The no, oh, <laughs> it's on the back. Oh, yeah. Cicela Bonga. I was this like, is where's he going? <laughs> He's saying it's on my back, man. I'm wearing the title. It's, a, it's an appropriation of uh, the French phrase, si c'est bon. Uh, when we were in Madagascar, you know, there were street vendors trying to sell you stuff all the time. And we were there with an amazing Zulu guitarist uh, who played with us. His name is Madala Kunene. And uh, he said, oh, I don't speak French. What should I say? We, we just said, si c'est bon, c'est bon. You know, just tell him like this. And to his ears, that sounded like si c'est bon, si c'est la bon guy. Just sort of Africanized it or something. Right. And every time somebody came into the room, this became our new catchphrase, and we said si c'est la bon guy. Oh, that's so, so great! So it's like a shout of, of just a, uh, yeah, just happiness. Just, exactly. Hey, what's up, everybody? Life is good. Like that. Like, Life is good. Yeah, we're, so we're all together. So it's not a wall of word. It's right. it's an invented word. Like Best of all. Yeah. Like the music. Yeah. So what about tuning? Uh, we, I know that the kara and the guitar have different worlds, but oh, yeah. they're easy, they, they can meet. You must have done something to really make it sound so together like they were born for this. Yeah. So what, what are you doing to make it sound so well connected? So the kora, a diatonic uh, harp with uh, nylon strings, is, like you said, tuned to a chord. And um, so I have to adapt in a way to his tuning but I can, you know, I can modulate, I can do things my way and just make it sound upside down or we, we can do our little things. But so um, we found a chord that we really liked and that was sort of like our bass chord. The, uh, the tuning is called Sauta. And uh, a lot of songs of ours are in Sauta. Now we're just expanding different chords, but they're not too far away from the key of F. Okay. So we play an F. Sometimes we play in A, right. other times we play in uh, E, it depends. Uh, he has hip shot detuners, that's a fancy new invention that allows us to just quickly go from one chord to the other. Right, so he can pick when he's going to make a change and make yeah. it on the fly. Yeah. I mean, we do have to arrange our set list in I'm a way sure that we don't do. I'm sure you do. So maybe, maybe this is a good time to see uh, your, the clip that you have. What's what's the name of the clip? What are we going to see? So the name of the clip is uh, Bumu Judo. And it's uh, about the Kwa Bumu Judo. What is it about? Bumu Judo. Come on, que na la nyua he Bumu Judo, ça c'est français. Quand je suis né, oui, I talking about this. It's a song of praise from when he was born, you know, about his mother, about when he came. 
like this. All right. So we'll check that out now, and then we'll come right back. Check it out. Gotta go. 
Okay, so we're back, and um, si se le bongo. Uh, we're having a really fun discussion here. So I'm thinking, I've, I've heard the story. You guys are together here in Senegal for another two months. That gives you a lot of time to do amazing things. So what's happening in these next two months? Qu'est-ce qu'on va faire dans les deux mois? Deux mois, on va aller ensemble au Casamas. Aussi, on organise un peu spectacle. Oui. Aussi travail notre nouveau album. Oui, c'est ça, travail tout. So he just said uh, that uh, we're going to the Casamance region in a month, and in the meantime, and also in Casamance, we just work on our new album. We have a couple of gigs coming up, and also we'll uh, be doing a music video, a new music video. So, nice. So when you go back to the Casamance, this is home for you. Yeah. And you're bringing your friend to introduce this special deal. Oh man, yeah, he's, what's that like? Yeah, he's very important. He's no Kazamas. Yeah. Uh -huh. Because Kazamas, yeah, Senegal is my country. Yeah, I'm very like Kazamas because it's going to my mom and my father mm. and my big father, big parent. Yes, your grandfather. You know? Yes, it's important that I get to yeah, know. I've never, I've never been. In I've country. been to Casablanca, so I I get this is a special deal, a special kind of community vibe, and bringing in someone from out of the country and out of the region who clearly is working together. Wow, lucky you guys! Yeah. This is very cool. Because Casablanca is have many religion. Because it's have Karolinke, Jola, Mandingo, Paul, many, many, many. many. Because it's have uh, many secret and Casamas. A lot of secrets. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yeah. You know? Secret societies, beautiful Music. things, special place. <laughs> I, I get it. I love that. Yeah. So then, with all that in mind, the Cora comes, this Cora is coming from Casamas. And at the same time, Glauco, you're figuring a way to dance the, the harmonic dance of oh, the Cora. How, does, how do you guys work this out? What's the influence here? So it's it's pretty much a uh, it's like a it's like a feeling I get in my gut, you know. I just you know I don't overanalyze things or anything. I just listen to his chora and I try to first I try to get like a rhythm guitar pattern or something right. going. Right, right. I grew up with American music, you know, blues, rock, jazz, and all of that. And then what happened was, and what's still happening, is his. Mandang and Kora music influences how I do little embellishments, mm. little rhythmical changes like that. And that becomes my new thing, right. I guess. Right, right. And so just as an example, maybe for a phrase, before I met Tarang, maybe I would have played something like... Uh, you know, a little bluesy thing like that. Yeah, I, I recognize now, that. I, and now after uh, Tarang, maybe I play... It's not for the sake of playing fast, it's just those embellishments. Yeah, 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 yeah. So just little things like that, you know, and... Uh, yeah, and then we'll figure out, uh, that, that figures out how I write songs, how I sing, mm. you know, because he's a griot, he tells stories, he takes his time and uh, just sings, sometimes softly, sometimes loudly, but really telling a story right. and that really influenced me you know just also I work as a solo singer songwriter mm. and then, then I just really try to get a cool thing going and just uh, yeah so that that influenced me a lot also how I sing the and dramatic the quality right storytelling same for me I, I think oh, our greatest skill in addition to just can you play we presume you're great players what's left is the story oh man and I can already feel you guys have worked uh, a sort of collaborative storytelling. You've had an influence on each other. You're going to visit each other's worlds. I'm pretty sure that you know you're going to wind up in Europe pretty soon. Yeah. This is going to be a good thing. Yeah. Cool. Second time. So, anything else before we 
before we decide like to shake it up and jam ourselves? Anything else we we should know about about Sise La Bonga? Well, Sise La Bonga is just a young group you know, playing together, having fun together. And we'll see where this will take us. But for now, it's our passion. We believe in it. Thank you so much for having us on the World Fusion Show. Thank you. 
Taxi Sarabonga featuring Tony Vaca. Yeah. Hardly, <laughs> but I'll, I'll take it anyway. <laughs> hey, this is Derek Jordan. Thank you for joining us today on the World Fusion Show. And a big thank you to Tony Vaca for being our on-location guest host in Senegal. I also want to give a big thank you to Craig Norton, who did the video and sound recording for that episode in Senegal. And remember, think globally, listen locally, and support independent music.